The front brakes on the W123 are a dual piston caliper, and both pads, indicated by the red arrows, can be replaced without removing the caliper. To change out the pads, begin by removing the brake pad wear sensors from the holders on the side of the caliper by pulling them, red arrow, straight out. You should be able to pull them from the pad by hand, but if it is stuck, use a set of small needle nose pliers to remove them, using care if you are planning on reusing the sensor. Use the appropriate size punch and tap out the retaining pins, red arrows. If you don't have a punch, you can use a small screwdriver in a pinch. The retaining pins will probably be covered in brake dust, so make sure to clean them before reinstalling. Keep pressure on the retaining spring while removing the pins, and then remove the spring, red arrows. And as always, you should be wearing eye protection. Depending on how worn your rotors and pads are, you will need to compress the pistons back into the caliper. Use a large set of pliers or channel locks, and squeeze the pads and the flat area of the caliper, red arrows, together. While you are pushing the piston back in, you will be forcing brake fluid back into the system and up into the reservoir. Make sure to check the fluid level, red arrow, in the reservoir as you do this and be prepared to remove some fluid as needed. Use a flathead screwdriver and pry the pads out from the caliper. If they have anti-squeal pads on the back, they will be stuck in there pretty good. You will need to push the piston all the way back into the caliper to install the new pads. So before you remove the old pad, use the pliers to compress the pistons all the way in, remembering to check the level of the fluid in the reservoir. You also want to clean up the area where the pads rest against the caliper, red arrow. This area gets a lot of brake dust on it and can lead to squealing brakes. This photo shows the hole that the brake wear sensor sits in, red arrow. And while there is plenty of material still on this pad, this wears down to the hole and the wear sensor cover will wear off and make contact with the rotor. This will cause a ground and sends an electrical signal to the light of the wear sensor in the dash. If you are changing your pads before the wear sensor has activated, there is no reason why you cannot reuse it. But if the coating, as indicated by the red arrow, has worn down, you should replace the sensors. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.